Gilbert Aqua is a conductor on board the Grand Big bus that collided head-on with a daft long vehicle leading to the death of five persons along the Techiman Kintampo Highway. My name is Gabriel Aqua, but I'm a conductor on a bus with the number AK285-22. We load from um, Tamale to Accra. Gilbert recounts how the bus he was traveling with filled its brake leading to the gory accident. Because it was a hill, he was trying to maybe get a speed to, like I mean, to climb. So on, like, on his attempt to climb the hill, he wanted to like um, strip or like to bypass the distance, the, the STC. And meanwhile, unfortunately, for my mind is that I saw the gun bed was, I mean, he failed break because he was like he was speeding. So at the time, I just told him that, Master, you are close. And he said, Kofi, I'm thinking about it, but the break is not even, I just step on it. Uh, but the so only thing that he just said is, oh, Jesus. And I just also saw a trailer coming up there. So the only thing I just saw is that he just dived to the trailer side and the trailer just hit the other side of the driver and the other side of me also just hit at the back of the um, the distance, the STC. One of the survivors, Audu Mumuni, a native of Accra Nima, who was on his way home after traveling up north for a scheduled surgery at the Tamale Tishin Hospital, had severe burns after the bus caught up with fire after colliding head on with a long vehicle. He was amongst 18 others who were rushed to the Tichman Holy Family Hospital. Whilst on admission, he told Joy News that he lost his phone and all items capable of helping him speak with his family. We free Tamale, Elko Accra, Anna, Yanya, accident, you know. For no, I hear no, you know, men to me and Joe Bia, and the Omu Bia Nims, a sick crump, who say, Baby say now to me, Omu Nim, will be a Nim. Audu unfortunately passed on this morning, raising the death toll to six. Together with the driver of the long vehicle truck who got bent beyond recognition, Audu was buried at the Techiman Muslim Cemetery per the teachings of Islam under the supervision of some family members. <laughs> Aubakar Mama is a close friend to the late Audu Momoni. He recounts <laughs> how he had the unfortunate news of the ghastly accident that led to his friend's death. At night, I, I was sitting and waiting for him. About 10 o'clock, even 11 o'clock before, somebody picked the phone. Ah. When I speak outside, he said, oh, you don't understand outside. Before I said, what is happening? He said that this phone, he picked on scene of uh, accident. Accident, yes. You see, he said that they got accident. Where he picked the phone. Obakar described Aldo's death as a great loss to himself and his family. Women leave me today. <laughs> I can't say anything. I can't say anything about God. Whatever God did is right. So I take it like that. But I lost a friend. I will never forget. I will never forget to the end of my life. Yes. Greet not to family. They love him very much. All of them, they love him. Mustafa Maru is also a brother to the driver of the long vehicle who got bent beyond recognition. For him, what he saw upon arriving at the morgue is heartbreaking. Okay. I'm going to be a little bit of 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 a little bit
the South are appealing to authorities in the road industry to help implement the needed road science on the highways to help minimize accidents on the roads. Currently, all of the victims on admission at the Tichiman Holy Family Hospital have been treated and discharged with some referred to the Konfanochi Teaching Hospital and the Tamale Teaching Hospital. Anna Sabit, Joy News, Tichiman.